California State University Channel Islands is a student-centered university with a commitment to high-impact teaching practices and experiential learning. Engaging students in research, scholarship, and creative activities, student research for short, is a high-impact practice demonstrated to improve learning, student persistence, and reduce time to graduation. Engaging in faculty-mentored student research helps students develop the core qualities that promote lifelong learning and the skills employers are looking for in employees, curiosity, creativity, resilience, and problem solving. What is student research? It would be nice if there was some consensus about the definition of student research. There's not. This is understandable. Student research has only become a thing in the past couple of decades. Definitions continue to be contested, and what else would you expect from an academic community? The Council on Undergraduate Research, the largest association dedicated to student research, defines undergraduate research as an inquiry or investigation conducted by an undergraduate student that makes an original, intellectual, or creative contribution to the discipline. Student research is not restricted to STEM and social sciences. Kerr's definition is very broad, leaving plenty of room for understanding research to include creative activities. However, there are two terms included in this definition that are worthy of contestation. The first word, original. Determining what is original is tricky. What is original? Even Newton, the founder of calculus, said, if I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. Even someone who created a whole field of mathematics understood that science and creation rely on those who came before us. Holding any faculty member, much less a student, to the standard of originality rules out most of the work that most of us have ever done. The second word worthy of some reflection is contribution. For most of us, the thought of a contribution is the end state of our research. A publication in a peer-reviewed journal, a curated exhibit, a novel or short story, a book published by a university press. Again, if that's where we set the bar for student research, most of us wouldn't clear the bar. The California State University has sought to define student research a little bit differently. Their definition is Undergraduate research is an inquiry or investigation conducted by an undergraduate student that makes an original, intellectual, scholarly, or creative contribution to the discipline, is guided by a research mentor, and moves along a developmental trajectory towards scholarly independence, originality, and autonomy. Undergraduate research projects should address a specific research question, utilize appropriate research methodologies, adhere to the standards of the discipline, and ideally result in the dissemination of the results through publication, presentation, performance, or exhibition. The CSU definition, like the Kerr definition, highlights original and contribution as part of the definition. However, as we've argued earlier, these two standards suggest a bar for student research that many faculty have not cleared. The CSU definition acknowledges the important role that mentors play in the development of student researchers. Think about your own experience as a researcher. Were you a natural? You needed no mentorship? Your research always ended as expected? If that's the case, congratulations. For most of us, that's not the case. My first research project as a senior in college was not fully formed or definitive of the subject. It was just my first experience. I learned from it and moved on to the next thing, and the next, and the next. During the early stages of student development, the most important element is engagement in the process. For early career researchers, the focus is learning the habits of mind of a researcher. Research is a form of lifelong learning. To be a lifelong learner, one needs to develop these habits of mind that allow students to engage in research and creative processes repeatedly over the course of their lifetime. Later in the development of a scholar, we expect more. Finally, the issue of outcomes. Ideally, the student will present their work in a discipline-appropriate venue. 
Many students achieve this by presenting at an on-campus research symposium or exhibition. These low-stakes opportunities allow students to gain confidence in a more supportive atmosphere. The mentor might help identify a regional or national undergraduate research conference. These events tend to be larger, allowing students to compare their work to others and begin to realize they are capable of doing work that is as good or better than students at other, supposedly, better universities. Many disciplines are now adding student research components to their regional and national conferences. This might be appropriate for a student who has one or two presentations under their belt. The atmosphere might not be as naturally supportive, and a student with a little experience can deal with the added pressure easier. Novice students are typically first or second year students with limited content specific courses. The goal for their research experience is to be exposed to a range of methods, research settings, primary and secondary sources and data, tools and potential projects. They should be introduced to the relevant literature in a structured, guided manner. Appropriate projects may include mastering a single method or piece of equipment, identifying an aesthetic or creative conversation, and determining how their creative work might engage with it, or undertaking a literature review in order to formulate a viable scholarly research question. Apprentice researchers should have a more solid understanding of the methods and research tools appropriate to their field, have an increased grasp of the literature, and have taken core content courses. Students at this stage should develop some autonomy. If working in a lab setting, they should be given increasingly independent responsibilities that develop their research and problem-solving skills. Students doing academic, creative, or design-based research should be able to undertake independent field research as appropriate and begin to analyze their findings in conversation with the faculty mentor. Advanced researchers demonstrate a greater sense of ownership of their research question and process, a solid understanding of the literature and methods of the research, as well as an appropriate level of independence. Advanced undergraduate researchers should develop an independent element that advances the goals of the research project, if working collaboratively, and, as appropriate, make contributions worthy of publication or presentation. Students undertaking individual research projects should be able to independently formulate and investigate an original question that contributes to the knowledge in the field, be able to clearly and effectively communicate their findings, and defend the research to a critical audience. Creative or design-based projects should have produced a final design or work that has grown out of the research process that is suitable for public presentation or exhibition. Advanced researchers should also have developed an understanding of how they can transfer and apply their skills to other areas of inquiry. Given this discussion, what we propose is a definition of student research that reflects the most important elements of a faculty-mentored research experience. Our definition reads, undergraduate research is an inquiry, investigation, or creative activity conducted by an undergraduate student or team of students guided by a research mentor. The project is part of a developmental trajectory aimed at developing scholarly independence, originality, and autonomy. It uses discipline-appropriate modalities, adheres to the scholarly standards of the discipline, ideally resulting in dissemination of the results via discipline-appropriate means, including publication, presentation, performance, or exhibition. Our definition involves, first, the idea that student research is guided by a mentor. This highlights the active engagement of faculty and students at a high level. The student is being groomed as a researcher and a future researcher. Second, we focus on the CSU's developmental trajectory. This incorporates the idea that faculty mentored research experiences should be sensitive to the student's stage of development.
And the mentor plays an important role in shepherding students through these developmental stages with appropriate involvement, tasks, and expectations. Faculty mentors should have reasonable expectations for student outcomes. Early on, a poster at a campus event might be appropriate. As the student progresses, a large interdisciplinary or disciplinary event will help the student to develop their skills and confidence. Expectations about publication and public performances should not be the first expectation for student outcomes at the undergraduate level. All of the discussion to this point is focused on the role of the faculty mentor, which begs the question, is faculty mentored student research teaching or is it research? A re reasonable way to approach this question is to consider it as the interaction between two questions. What is the faculty mentor's motivation for involving students in a research experience? And what is the student's motivation for engaging in research? Taking faculty motivation first, the question you need to ask yourself is how is this related to your research agenda? The first question to ask yourself is how is this related to your research agenda? If it's faculty centered, that means the research experience draws directly on or is related to the faculty member's research agenda. If you're taking a more student centered approach, the research experience is mostly aimed at student learning. Research questions are loosely or unrelated to the faculty member's research agenda. The second element is the student's motivation. If we're talking about class-based student involvement, their relationship to the material is premised on classroom instruction. If the student is primarily thinking about working independently, then it is more divorced from classroom instruction. So let's take the intersection of each of these two elements one by one really quickly. If the faculty's motivation is student-centered and the student's motivation is to do independent research, then we might think of that as teaching. So think of the student who's come to you and is interested in a particular thing that maybe you don't have a lot of expertise in. Well, you're willing to mentor and give some general direction to the student, but most of the responsibility falls on the student. In many disciplines, students will have a capstone research experience. So as a faculty member teaching that capstone course, your focus is on the students who are in the capstone course and the students are there usually because it's a required course. So in this case, again, you're probably taking multiple students with different research interests and trying to guide them to find their own answers. Again, this is teaching. When the faculty motivation is faculty centered and the student motivation is taking a class, we might call this a research embedded course. So maybe you've designed a course that is going to incorporate some elements of inquiry into it and you're going to provide some students with instruction on discipline specific modalities. Students will pick this up and they may take it into their future courses or they may take it into other courses. You've taught them some skills and they will be able to use those skills in the future. But you've taught them skills that are proximate to your own research. Faculty mentored student research is when faculty are driving the research question. It's something that's relevant to their research agenda. And the student is engaging independently. They may be getting course credit for their involvement, but they are becoming involved as an independent research hopeful student. 
So what is faculty mentored research? In sum, first, it's faculty relevant. Students are engaged in research that is related to the faculty member's professional research or creative agenda. The faculty member is directly involved with students, providing close guidance. Faculty instruct students on discipline-specific modalities and socialize them into the norms of an academic discipline. Faculty expect students to begin exercising some level of autonomy that's appropriate to their developmental preparedness. Finally, faculty establish a reasonable goal for the outcomes of the student's work. This presentation was brought to you by Student Research at CSU Channel Islands, a student-centered university with a commitment to high-impact teaching practices and experiential learning.